All right, so we're done with the first part. And this second part, well, I'm going to show you how we use the map here. How do we add the map and show the user location and maybe how to add a point, uh, like a annotation to your map. We'll see how far we can go. But the way it's going to work, we add a map, and then once you get your current position, then we want to show the map. I want to show my current position on the map. All right? So there is something called here map view. So if you look at the objects here, if you type it, or you can just search for map view. Means view, map view. Just type in map view here. Okay, and then drag it and drop it in here. Okay. Later on, I'll show you how we use it in the, our uh, store listing, if you remember, in the core data, okay, to get the position, uh, to, co to get the coordinate of the, uh, of the, of the, sto uh, the store, okay, from the map. So now what we have here, we have the map. We need to do, uh, we need to have a reference to this map in our code. So I'm gonna say, this is now the outlet, and it's map view, all right? Uh, what's going on here? We got an error. Why do we get an error? No, no error. Hmm. Why? Oh, I didn't include map kit. All right, so I need to say import map kit here. So we don't have that problem. Okay, so it's okay. All right, now if you look at the property of the map here, one of the options here it's called uh use user location okay so it allow you to show the user location so i'm going to select that there are other things here uh, you can play with it but this is what i mean we're interested in and right now is user location all right in my if you run it right now what's going to happen you'll have a map and this map points here but I don't want it to point here. Where does it, where do I want it to point? I want it to point to my location, all right? So how do we make it point to my location? All right, if you go back to the view controller, and once we acquire the location, this is what we were at here. Uh, this is what we were doing. We acquired my location. What you can do here, you can actually set the region, how much do you want to zoom in the map, and go to that location. So I'm going to show you how we do this. So in the same area where we acquired the position, I have the code already here. So I'll copy it and explain it to you. All right. Command copy. Command V here, and then let's take a look at it. What does this do for me? First, you create a span. A span is basically the view. How wide is your view? How the zoom level, if you will. All right. So we're creating a span, and it's the 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. That takes floating numbers, and then the higher the number, the more you're zooming out. We'll test it in a minute. Okay. The smaller the number, you're zooming in. Then you create a region. Remember, we were talking about region, so I'm creating a region. Region based on the new location that I've received, and this is the span. And then you set this region in your map. So you say, set the region, this map, set this region, and the region that we just created here, and I wanted to make it animated, so it will see, show you how to zoom in. And then I stop updating. We're already doing stopped updating here, so no need to do that anymore. All right, so now if watch what happens. If I do this, now it should take me to the location that I set. You see that? Which is what? This is that uh, one that we've set in debug here. Now let me change it back to, uh, change it back to the, where is location? to the one that I have custom. So if I click on this, watch what's going to happen. If I say okay, now, well, because we still stop, we did stop updating, right? Well, it's not gonna fire here because we say stop updating, right? So I'm gonna come on this out first and then we'll get back to it in a minute. Let me just show you again. 
So now it's going to take me to the place that I marked in my custom location here. But if I select Apple for now, it should take me back to Apple and animate it. Do we have, what do we have here? Right now it did, it took a while, but it did. Okay, if we go back, uh, debug location, we take back the custom, it would say okay, and it would take you to that one. All right. So that is how you do, uh, how do you do the, uh, show the user location and focus on the area that you receive, okay, or uh, your current position. Okay, now let me show you, if we do this, remember, if we make this as one, and we make this as one, or just make it 1.0 to just show you the difference. If we say 1.0, and then we say 1.0 here, and then run it again, watch what's gonna happen. You'll notice that the zoom level is a lot smaller, okay? So you're seeing the whole bigger, and you see your area is a lot bigger, okay? You're seeing the whole city of Dubai, for example. So the more the number, the higher the number here, it will get, you will zoom more and more, okay? So if you say 3.0, 3.0, and then you run it again, you'll see that it will take us to a bigger number. All right, is that clear? All right, and then the next one, let me see if we can do how we add annotations. All right, you can add annotations. Annotations are like those, bin, those pin marks on your screen, on your map, all right? And I already have it here, so I'll copy it and I'll show you how it works. Okay. All right. Where is annotation? Yeah. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We need to create the point first. All right, so if I have, here is uh, my, here is my view did load. Let's say I want to add a location when my, a pinpoint when I uh, start my app. Now, the way it works here, usually you have a list of points. So you have a list of points, each point has a, uh, has a coordinate, and then that coordinate, you can make it a pinpoint on your map. There are different ways and different techniques to do that to make it um, better because you don't want to add thousands of points in a smaller area, so it'll be a problem, right? Uh, so there are different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the basics, and in the advanced classes, advanced tutorial, I'll show you how we can add group of pinpoints and then based on the area that you're viewing in your map, all right? So I'm going to do this first, and we need to create an, uh, a location, okay, coordinate. And this is called location 2D, remember? So if I say, if I say uh, let location coordinate equal CLL location coordinate 2D, okay? And then you give it longitude and latitude. So I'm going to say 25.1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then here, latitude, I think it's 55 point, I don't know where, but somewhere in there. And, and then you added, okay, my point. And then you give it a title. So this is the title of the pinpoint, my point, or my, in, my location, whatever we want to call it. And you can have detailed subtitles, location of the store. And just leave it as that. Now, after you do this, what do you need to do? You need to add it to the map view. So you say map view dot add annotation, and then you give it the annotation that we just created, which is called annotation. Okay. Okay. It's not like in the annotation. 
annotation. All right. All right. I think there is must be one for animated. No. no. You can add it animated, right? So now what happens if you run it, you'll see that that bin point, I added it in the C, but you can see that this is it right here. Okay, that's the location. All right, you can zoom more. You can zoom more, of course, to see what it is. It's in the C. <laughs> All right, so that's how you add basic annotation. Okay, uh, in the next video, I'll show you how we add, like in your map, so let me show you again, in your map, let's say you wanna select the location of the store. Remember when we have a location of the store? So what I can do is that I say, you just simply click here, when you click on this, and then you can get the location. Maybe we have time to do that. Do you wanna, maybe, what, I don't know how long is this video, but let's stop and then we'll do it in another video, all right? because I don't want it to be too long.